The objective of this video is to gain insights into the motion of uh, molecules within ZIF-8. ZIF-8 is a crystalline material that can be used as an adsorbent in fixed bed separation units. Thin layers of ZIF-8 are also used in membrane constructs to separate a variety of mixtures. This is the unit cell of the weight. Each unit cell has two cages. The cage volume is uh, 1,200 cubic angstrom. This is larger than that of the uh, DDR zeolite and even larger than that of phagocyte. The cages are separated from uh, one another by narrow windows of a 3.3 angstrom. Further structural details are provided in, the, um, in this slide. These are the uh, cell unit cell dimensions, pore volume surface area, characteristic dimension of 3.3 which corresponds to the window aperture. But the windows are not rigid. They are flexible, as you can see in this simulation, where we are looking in this direction from top to bottom. The windows open and shut, just like saloon doors um, in a Quentin Tarantino film such as Hateful Eight or Django Unchained. The window flexibility is quite important in practice because uh, um, large mo molecules or la um, such as propene and propane with dimensions, molecular dimensions larger than 3.3 angstroms can um, diffuse uh, through the windows. Experimentally, it has been found that uh, uh, across a ZIF-8 membrane, pro propene permeates 35 times faster than propane. To understand that, we have to look at the bond lengths and bond angles. Especially the bond angles, let's have a look at uh, propene. This has uh, 123.9, whereas uh, propane is 115.5. So this is a flatter molecule. So it can uh, diffuse lengthwise faster than propane. In industrial practice, it is uh, required to separate these mixtures in order to produce high purity propene. The purity requirement of propene is 99.95% because the feedstocks to the polymerization unit demands high purities for making polypropylene. In current industrial practice, this separation is carried out in distillation columns that are huge. In fact, uh, they are the largest distillation columns on this planet. Due to the fact that the boiling points are below ambient temperatures, you need to operate at cryogenic temperatures and high pressures. And this results in high costs. The costs are not only for hardware, but also because uh, of the role, relative volatilities, they need to operate at high reflux ratios. Typically, uh, a distillation column for propane propylene separations require about 100 plus trays 
and a reflux ratio about 10 to 15. So there is a great economic incentive to reduce the energy consumption of current distillation technology. The same is true for ethane acetylene separations, which also operated under cryogenic uh, conditions and uh, has a low relative volatility of 1.2, requiring high reflux ratios. The energy consumption of uh, current uh, distillation technologies can be reduced by hybrid constructs of a distillation column with a membrane separation unit, where part of the separation load is handled by a membrane unit. Here, the membrane uh, separation um, unit is placed down, uh, downstream on the uh, where a, a somewhere a mid product is removed, and a permeate which is rich in propene is fed to the uh, rectifying section, and the retentate, which is rich in propane, is fed to the uh, stripping section. A membrane unit on its own is unable to meet the, the purity requirement uh, required by industry. The membrane unit can be also be used in a different construct where the uh, feed is a uh, mixture is separated into a propane rich uh, permeate which is uh, fed to the uh, rectifying section and a propane rich uh, retentate which is fed to the stripping section. Modifications of this uh, flow scheme are possible where the part of the feed is fed directly to the distillation column and the other portion of the feed is passes through membrane unit uh, which is then fed to the products the permeate product is fed to the rectifying section and the retentate is fed to the stripping section Let's uh, gain some insights into how molecules move within uh, zephate. In order to gain these insights, um, we, we have created animations for molecular dynamic simulations. Um, in these molecular dynamic simulations, we use 2 times 2 times 2, 8 unit cells, and all simulations are 300 uh, Kelvin. Details of the simulation and diffusivity data are provided in the uh, published literature. Let's first look at uh, separation of hydrogen methane molecules. Hydrogen being a small mo smaller molecule can uh, hop from one cage to the next cage uh, more, much more easily than um, methane. Methane, um, the, the uh, effective diameter of the methane molecule is uh, significantly larger than that of hydrogen. So a membrane unit is uh, selective to hydrogen. The hydrogen methane permeation selectivity is uh, significantly large and can uh, be used in uh, industrial practice. It's also true for um, hydrogen CO2. Hydrogen permeates faster than CO2. A hydrogen molecule can hop from one case to the, uh, to the next much more easily than a CO2 molecule. The CO2 molecule can traverse from one cage to the adjacent cage by hopping lengthwise. That's the only dimension because the, the uh, dimension of, uh, it's like a pencil. The, uh, it's a, 
it's an elongated molecule and the cross-sectional diameter is 3.1 whereas the length of the molecule is 5.4 so the only way it can diffuse across the uh, windows is lengthwise in a membrane construct the adsorption selectivity is, fav is in favor of CO2 but the diffusion selectivity is 100 and in favor of hydrogen. The net result is that the permeation selectivity is in favor of hydrogen and the selectivity is approximately 2 and this is sufficient to, uh, to achieve a, a, a permeate product which is richer in hydrogen. A ziphate membrane can also be used to separate mixtures of CO2 and methane. Due to the smaller cross-sectional dimension of CO2, it, uh, the diffusivity is higher by, I say, about an um, order of magnitude or maybe a couple of orders of magnitude higher than uh, that of um, methane. In this case, both adsorption selectivity and diffusion selectivity favors carbon dioxide. And experimental um, data confirms the resifate membrane is effective for CO2 methane separations. CIF8 is also useful for water alcohol separations. Here show some animations of methanol diffusion and uh, an important factor is the phenomenon of molecular clustering. But two, because of hydrogen bonding, two molecules of me methanol appear to be close together and these two molecules are joined by the hydrogen bond. This leads to slower diffusion. This. The same thing is true of ethanol diffusion where ethanol, ethanol clustering causes a mutual slowing down. Now, water molecules for separation um, are also form molecular clusters within uh, due to hydrogen bonding, but uh, ZIF8 is um, hydrophobic and therefore effective for water alcohol separations.